I'm going to try to see if I can get this filmed as <laughs> there's no battery on either of my batteries. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for the Once Upon a Pan project pan that I am doing with a bunch of lovely ladies from the Pantastic Ladies Collab group on Facebook. This is created by Claire and you should definitely check her out if you haven't already. I talk about her quite a bit on my channel actually. And uh, don't mind my blush today. It apparently wanted to go crazy when I reapplied it for this video. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, really. I have one empty to show you guys this update and I'm pretty excited about it. If you want to know more about this project pan or the project theme, you should check out my intro where I talk about it a lot more and why I chose the products that I did. The empty for this update is my lip liner from W7. It is the Lip Twister in pink. It is completely gone and I can't twist it up anymore. It is so done. <laughs> and when we are at it, let's talk about the other lip liner that I have in the project. And it is the same line, just in this red color. I have used it a couple of times, so there actually is a new line on it, which is really exciting. <laughs> the line was minimal last time. For the pink one, this is where I started, first update, which was last update, and now I am done with that. I use it every single time I wore makeup and a lip product. It was pretty easy to use up. The red one though, it's very pigmented, so I don't feel comfortable about wearing that every single day. <laughs> but I do have a new line right there for this one. For this update, I can actually mark this product. It is the NYX Angelville Primer. And last update, I was still at that intro mark, but I had used it for like a month and a lot, actually. So I didn't know why it didn't move. I think it was air, because there's still air in it. As you can see, it is very full. But I, when I squeeze it, I can squeeze it down to here now. So I think there's still air in it, so I, it's not precise, but... I have used it quite a bit and it will be done in a few months. For a product that I haven't really used much the last month, it is the W7 Face Fantasy Foundation. And this is a foundation that I use to mix uh, to get my right color. <laughs> um, but for the last month I have mostly been using concealer. I have used my foundation up that was I was panning in my whole collection project pan but when I used that up I skipped foundation or am skipping. I don't feel like foundation and it is like 30 de degrees at the moment in Denmark so I'm very hot. I'm sweating all the time and being pregnant doesn't really help. This is my new progress line. As you can see, I have minimal because I have only used it a few times. But again, it is too light for me at the moment, which says a lot about my tan and uh, because this is so pale, like insanely pale. I just need to get myself together and wear foundation again to use them up and not have any foundation in my collection because I have been loving only wearing concealer, like loving. But I think I'm very lucky that this pregnancy did that I don't have any breakouts at all. If I have any breakouts, it is due to me masking, <laughs> which is unfortunate, right? In the first three months I did have breakouts, but for the last three, four months, none. So nice. Okay, this product I haven't used at all not even one single time. It is my blush trap pigment in Cave of Wonders. This beautiful yellow gold shade. My goal is to use it 10 times. I have used it once and that was for last update. So I hopefully can make more progress on this for next time. For the next update, it is September. And then there will be a month until my due date. So insane to think about. My other eyeshadow in this project comes from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I am panning Creme Brulee, which is this gold shade. 
I used up like half of it. Is it almost two years ago? Wow. In 2018 when I was panning this palette. Then I repressed it and I hit pan again in this project and this is where I am now. So I think my goal for next update is to use half of that up, which is left in the pan. My Vaseline, I don't know if I have any progress on it, but this is where I am at the moment. I am using it almost every single night. I tend to forget, but I do use it at night time and on my inner thighs because they are hurting <laughs> for me gaining weight and it is being hot so they smash together can you say that i don't know and the last product i'm rushing because my battery you know my w7 selfie powder that i repressed just a few days ago i forgot that I was going to update you guys so it will look very different but I will insert some pi pictures one from last update and then my the state of it before I repress it and then when I repress it and now I have used it a few times since I repressed it so that is why all the pictures I love this powder I have repressed it with the shade that I am mixing it with anyways from another project pan so yeah, it's just easier to use now. And it is matching my skin tone. Which is very important to me right now. That was everything for this update. It was very quick and a little bit rushed. I'm very sorry about it. One thing I am thinking about switching out is this foundation because I'm not wearing foundation right now. Um, so I don't know if I can even have it finished by December. But we are in August, so let's see how everything plans out maybe it is not as hot next month <laughs> hopefully i hope you guys enjoyed this video and check out the other ladies if you haven't already and claire of course you would love her just as much as i do she is amazing so i hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video please take care